Here's how to do the trick. Need a glass uh, cookware. That's what I use, but you can use a picture frame. You can use a glass table if you have it. That would be really cool. You need two playing cards. I used a business card here. Now the two playing cards, they stick together because they have magnets. And of course, I have links to where I purchased these magnets. They're actually pretty low cost. They're not that expensive. But you have to line up the magnets so the cards line up. So it looks like a single playing card. That's uh, the key there, to have two cards taped. Magnets are taped. Now, if you want to, you can make a double thickness card. So it looks like a regular card, so you can show both sides. That really would be advantageous at the end. I didn't do that. Well, for demonstration purposes here, I'm not doing that. Magnets, they line up. I used two because what I found is when I used one, they tended to get out of alignment. So the setup is you take your container and you take one of your cards, place it underneath with the magnets, place the other one on top, and the card is ready to go. I'm just using a business card here. I wanted to make it clear that this was a playing card sitting on top of the container here. Now, you can drag it. Now, depending on the thickness of your, your glass, uh, you'll notice that when I move it, there's a slight lag here. You might see the edges, so you have to be careful. It's probably nice to not have to use the card as a uh, prover in the beginning, but uh, if you can just move it around, if your glass is thin enough, maybe something you might use in a picture frame, then uh, that could be advantageous. So you'll have to experiment with second part of this is, sorry, this isn't more elegant, but uh, it's just the magnet that's taped to my hand. So what you'll have to do is uh, come up with the location. Uh, I just found a location right about here. I'm not gonna calibrate it and make it very um, accurate here. It's just for demonstration purposes, but um, I just made it so I taped the magnet to my hand. And of course, this magnet corresponds to the magnet here. And so you can come out, you can have your provers, you can show the card. So clearly that card is on top. You can move it around if you can, if your glass is thick enough and your magnets are strong enough. And then this magnet is stronger and and I like to kind of show the fingers spread out, close them, because you're gonna be taking the card, bring it down, you heard that click there, telltale click, and as I lift it away, the card is stuck here, and then inside of the glass will be your card. And again, if you glue a regular card in front, then you probably show both sides, and that would be kind of cool. So yeah, there's downsides to what I came up with here in that you can't show a card separate and toss it on there. If you have ideas on how to do that, I'd certainly love to hear it and I'd love to try and experiment, see if it would work. Uh, comment below if you have any other ideas. But anyway, that is a card through glass effect.